You know how you keep seeing those videos on the DJI Osmo Pocket that has the caption, I wanted to love it, but dot, dot, dot. Now I'm really kind of getting what they're talking about. So the DJI Osmo Pocket, as you can see, we're recording on it right now as the camera moves with us. However, I don't think that this is something I'll be able to keep for myself. I love this device, but at the same time, it's weirdly good. And that's the best way that I can really describe this. It's weirdly good. Now I'm using the onboard microphone. I'm literally two palm lengths away and um, have the, the heater on. So you may see or hear some of that noise in the background. And I'm doing this video on this device to try to see if I would enjoy it or not. And the thing is that it's really some quirks about it. And I've, I think I've just really gotten spoiled when it comes to the Canon M50 and just cameras in general. Being able to specifically pick the lens I wanna use, uh, have all of the buttons and everything already on top that I could use and not really have to think about what I want to do, you know, if that makes sense. But at the same time, having to always reach for my phone when I wanna adjust some pro level settings or something like that, it's kind of weird. I get it, but at the same time, I kind of don't. So when it comes to some of the features that are on here, I think it is a phenomenal product. I think that it still meets the Bees Knees Hall of Fame category for what it is, but at the same time, again, it's weirdly good. I, that's the best way I could put it. Now, in the app, they have where you can go and adjust the pro level settings so that it's more like uh, an actual camera instead of you know, what it is just by itself, I guess, whatever that is. Um, the gimbal feature is, is incredible. This whole follow you around kind of thing is incredible. Um, so you could literally walk around in a circle and this thing would follow you. Only thing is that if I wanted to do a video like this where I'm not going to be using the Canon M50 because as of this video or the time of recording this video, the G85 is gone. It's been sold. It literally, I put it up um, one day and within 48 hours it was gone. So the G85 is off to its new home and I wish it well. And I'm trying to figure out what is going to assist this camera because if I wanna do videos and continue to talk about this product or something else that comes out or whatever, um, maybe I'm trying to compare this to something else like maybe the DJI Osmo Pocket, I would still need another camera. Yes, I have my ZS70, but I like to have something that has a microphone input as well so that I can be able to have the clean audio and stuff like that. Um, at times you may hear auto noise or somebody hunks their horn or something. I um, have the air conditioner or the heater that may come on and just the general noise in the room. This room is not sound treated, uh, but at the same time, it sounds like what you're hearing right now if I'm not using a lapel microphone or something like that. So in that case, especially, you know, teaching stuff, just different courses and all of that, like tomorrow is the official last day of the um, Entree Insiders for at least for the first launch for the Entree Insiders Video Academy. And then after that, I'll be moving into, you know, working with that for the next several weeks. But knowing that I would need something else, another camera, I was really trying to decide, do I want to get another M50 or do I want to get like an M6? I've had that camera before. And essentially that whatever camera I get is going to be a B camera. Consider getting the M3, consider getting the M6, but I would just rather know that whatever camera I have has dual pixel autofocus. So that would be the M6 and you get those really good for use, but you can also find these uh, at pretty good prices as well. Maybe in an extra 100, 200 bucks or something like that, or even brand new. They're close to like $500, $600, so not bad. It would be awesome for that, but you know, like it, just a, a slightly bigger, wider, type thing instead of like a cube shape, it'd be able to sit down leveled without the curves. I'm using now a little tripod stand that has like a GoPro back to it. And I'll link that down below if you do get the DJI Osmo Pocket and you wanna check it out. But it's like, I think when you look at all the stuff, like, so I bought this locally. So 350 plus tax and all that stuff. Came up to about 380. 
Now, you take that into consideration, and then you take into consideration when I pull it straight out the box, I don't have what I need to actually set this up for you know real recording situations. Maybe it was intended for vloggers, but at the same time, if I wanna have some duality with its use, then what am I supposed to do? I can't even sit it on a tripod. You know, it, it literally comes with not even a plastic stand, a plastic base, not nothing. They could have 3D printed that. It, you know, it doesn't come with anything for me to be able to do that, so I gotta buy something and wait. And then I start looking at all of the accessories that it would cost me, and it's just really starting to add up. And I said, well, shoot, for that, I can get another one of these. That's really not worth it. So for the cost of what could be another great camera like this or something similar, I would be investing in a bunch of little type things and it goes from being a couple hacks to a lot of hacks to a lot of accessories and a whole little pocket in my bag just full of little gadgets to fit different use cases instead of having a creator kit, so to speak, already ready to go out the box or just putting a like it, I, if you watch several videos on the DJI Osmo Pocket already, then you would have heard a lot of this, these complaints or concerns already. Um, every, I think everybody likes it, they love it, but there are, again, there are some of these limitations about it, which is straight out the box. I need to figure something out. So I picked up uh, one of my old tripods that I was using and I had got some thick foam and I put it in between this, this foam holder and I was trying to think like, what can I wedge this in between to kind of hold it, to put it on a tripod stick. So finally today, uh, this Skyreet uh, holder, it's just a clamp that goes around it. It's a kind of a metal piece and then it has a silicone or rubberized um, portion on the inside. So you just slide it on the bottom and I'll show you what that looks like. And then you can put it on, you know, a tripod, which I have it on a little selfie stick right now. And then I you know, could use it with some of my other you know, action camera accessories for in the car and whatever else. But if I didn't have that stuff and even still to get stuff like Bluetooth, Bluetooth functionality or a little base that has a charging port within it, like that's an extra $60. And then you know, for something else, that's another $60. It's just like, wait a minute, this is not supposed to be all of this. This is supposed to be fun, on the go. I could use it wherever, whenever it's a perfect size companion to any other type of creator of creative content that you want to make i really like it i, I really do i kind of love it <laughs> but at the same time it's like I'm, i've gotten so spoiled with like this and to be able to flip it out and control all the settings of what i want uh it's pretty cool but at the same time just even in recording in here i've gotten where it's just over not overheats. I don't want to say that word, but it has gotten pretty warm. Now, small device. I'm sure most of this body is the motor and the battery, and then you have whatever functionality for the screen. But at the same time, it's just like all of these components that are going to generate heat on top of the motor and all of that for the head. I get it, but it's kind of like like ooh, it's really getting kind of warm. So just slightly uncomfortable when it comes to that. Uh, last thing is that. It does not have any kind of little, little, little <laughs> speaker element in there. I thought I was doing something wrong and that it just was not picking up right. And it turns out it doesn't even have one. I'd have to, again, connect it to the phone and connect to the app and then be able to listen to the videos to see did my hand cover up the microphone or was there too much handling noise so that when I touched it, you know, just moving around or shifting my hand on the device or something, it picked up the noise, you know, and messed up whatever the shot was or, or whatever the case is. Even these little $50 action cameras on Amazon tends to have that. And so it's like, at least give me something. But I don't know, I guess we're so spoiled when it comes to the creative community that there are some base level requirements that we want that we are maybe expecting in the DJI Osmo Pocket, which I think is a phenomenal device, regardless as to any of the concerns or micro complaints that I have. I'm having like for under $400, really under $500, you get so many crazy things. 4K 60, 1080p 120 frames per second for you know, crazy slow motion, 
just like it's a gimbal <laughs> i mean let's just get that up it's a gimbal it's following me if i want it to follow me like you know it's like what to comp what is there to complain about and i think for a lot of people is this is going to be a really cool thing but i think for me i probably just need to get another camera because i i even if i got kept this and i got another camera you know when am i going to use it if i was a vlogger regular content creator, everyday vlogger, I would use this for sure. But I'm not. <laughs> and I don't see myself in the next 18 months at least becoming a regular vlogger. Uh, but if I was, possibilities, man, possibilities are there. And so the fact that I'm knowing that I would just only carry this if I was a vlogger and you know I'm on the go, just doing whatever you wanna do, you're not intimidated by being around other people because it's so small. Uh, the audio is fairly decent. Um, there's really not a whole lot to complain about. And for what you want to do to connect to your phone, it's just more of a bonus because you always have your phone with you. But somebody that uses their phone a lot, that's one of the reasons why I opted to cameras like these little, not big full frame cameras or none of that. Just simple, really simple. Toss it in my bag and I'm good to go. So unfortunately, Osmo Pocket is out. And I'm gonna have to get another camera. But that being said, uh, really quickly, I just wanted to talk about one last thing. So I showed you guys my battery bank here that I'm using. I guess this whole video is gonna be on the Osmo Pocket because I had planned to do a portion of it on the M50, but let's go with it. Let's give the Osmo Pocket some, some time to shine. So uh, I had a question about the M50 when it comes to being able to, you know, USB charge it or use it with a portable battery bank. This is a portable battery bank. Um, really good, again, pocket size. <laughs> so uh, I did find something. So this is by Rice Up, Rice, whatever, that company. Uh, DC coupler, like we're used to, USB. So let's do a little micro demonstration here and then we'll call this vlog good. So as always, or like usual, put this in here. Now this one does have the four gold connectors, so I guess it wouldn't matter if you use this one, maybe the other one, but I like to keep the stuff that comes with the packages with its original stuff, but probably just can just use this one, put it in there. And yes, I already tried it. It, it didn't mess up the camera. There's no funky or wonky noises or anything like that. So USB, you plug it in and power goes in here. Some of these, like the other one that I was talking about by Capaxon, um, it doesn't spin around like this. So it is not, um, it's very firm. So you have to keep it like horizontal. Some people are saying, you know, they kind of put tape there or something like that. I have to think of what I want to do just to kind of make sure that it stays secure. But in the short run, you know, short run a, uh, rubber band would probably work just fine. So <laughs> so you put that in there. Um, this is on, so you can see that this is attached. Let's flip this around. Oops. Make sure it's on. Gotta make sure the battery bank is on. <laughs> but there you go. Let me scoot back. So there's your solution for portable power. So it has to be uh, within a certain you know, requirements or whatever, two point, it has to be five volts in, 2.4 volts out or something like that. It's whatever, it's all in the instructions and I'll put a link in the description down below so that you can check on that for yourself if you wanna check this out. But I just wanted to tag this in here on the little bit end of this vlog, but it does work. So you can get portable power on the M50. And uh, yeah, so. This is how you do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog, but I don't know, like everybody else was saying, I was, was kind of thinking like, man, are people like, who are they copying when they say I wanted to love it, but I kind of get it now. So <laughs> that's, I hope this is a good solution for you guys. I'm loving to use this. Uh, no crazy noises or nothing like that with this, but um, real quick, I guess, before I go, mounting ideas. Probably get some kind of hot shoe thing and mount it up there like that. I don't know. I'll think of something. <laughs> but 
I just wanted to let you guys know all about that. But guys, live with passion. If you want the DJI Osmo Pocket, I'll put a link down below. Definitely check it out. And I am seeing some used ones out on B&H Photo Video for like 280 and 290. So 350 is a little bit much. Save yourself 150 bucks. Get it on B&H Photo Video or buy it used or whatever. I just want to get my new. I'm not familiar with gimbal, so I want to make sure it worked and get it straight out the box. But that's all there is. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video on the DJI Osmo Pocket. But unfortunately, it will not make the Entree Woman TV gear bag for the long run. But live with passion, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. See, even just for this little quick video, it's, it's warm. It's getting warm. I don't know.